the is video, and in today's video, I'll be analyzing Joe Biden's victory in the state of Minnesota. Now, a while ago, I started a series where I would go and analyze essentially most of the competitive states, um, and I, I took a very long break from it. I think I started around, probably around the time of Biden's inauguration, maybe a little earlier, maybe a little later, but around that time. Um, so, I we only have two states left, um, Minnesota, excuse me, and New Hampshire. Neither necessarily are very competitive necessarily they were in 2016 though um so we're only going to be doing minnesota today we'll be doing um new hampshire maybe tomorrow i don't know but in the next um video in the series so first off we can go take a look at the state of minnesota joe biden won here by 7.1 percent now hillary clinton i don't have a map up i um i don't have a map up right now but she only won here by about i believe 1.5 percent so um Obviously, a much larger margin of victory. If we look at the shift across the state, generally, um, most areas shifted to the left. We do see a lot of areas narrowly shifting to the right. But if we look around um, a lot of these larger areas, we're seeing around Minneapolis, around Rochester, um, it's shifting to the left. Lake County, very narrowly up in the Iron Range, but Cook County shifted 12 points to the left, um, which was a large shift. Um, but so first off, one area I want to look at, and I discussed this earlier, the Iron Range, this little area. Um, if we go over here and we go look at these CNN exit polls, I don't have the, um, I don't know necessarily that it'll have the Iron Range, I'm just assuming so. Okay, it does not have the Iron Range, that's a little inter um, interesting. But um, if we go look at area type, and I guess it should be urban, suburban, and rural, um, obviously not strong performances, but we go look up at the Iron Range. If we're looking for exit polls in the Iron Range, I guess I wasn't able to find any. But if we go look up in the Iron Range, um, this is a fairly crucial region. Like I said, we go look at these shifts, um, 3%, um, 12%, 1.3%, while the state shifted about 6%. So we're seeing some counties shifting by more, some counties shifting by less. This is a region that if the Democrats lose, they're kind of screwed. Um, and Democrats obviously did win them, and they won them by fairly large margins. Lake County is probably the county we should be focusing on the most. Biden won here by 3.5%, which is um, a fairly large, or not not very, not necessarily large, but it was a sufficient, I guess, margin of victory in this county, um, which ultimately gave him, um, not necessarily the victory in the state, but gave him, I don't even want to say the seven and a half, percent margin of victory but helped him to get a seven and a half percent margin of victory on the next area we go look at um minneapolis if we go back over here and we go take a look at this he won the urban areas by 39 percent now that um if i'm doing my math correctly now that is a um fairly large margin i'm actually gonna go label minnesota now that's actually a, that's a obviously pretty large margin of victory well, if we go look at the shift from 2016, um, Hennepin County, which I believe is the home to Minneapolis, yeah, shifted by 8.3%, which is obviously um, a fairly large shift, but then again, it was still a, um, like, 30 or 43 plus Biden County, which is a lot, like, 8% is not going to make that big of a difference, but one one really important thing, and this is a trend we see all across the nation. We go, look at this. This is a trend we saw in Georgia, which helped flip it. Um, we see all this kind of in North Carolina making it a lot more competitive. We saw this in D.C. suburbs, giving Biden a very large margin of victory in Virginia. Um, we see this in Michigan. We see it all down over here, over in here in Philadelphia, around Pennsylvania. Or, excuse me, in Pennsylvania, all around Philadelphia. I'm sorry, I'm kind of just tired. We see it in Michigan. We see these suburbs shifting to the left and if we go look over here at area type the suburbs are still red they're still 14 percent red but these suburbs are um what have essentially been giving democrats very large margins of victory now for the republicans to be able to win here they would have to do very very well in these suburbs like dakota county shifted um nine percent i believe to the left so instead of being um like a six percent republican county it was like a 15 percent republican county um, we go look at Washington County. It shifted 7.4% to the left. Go look at um, Anoka County. Shifted 7.7%. All these counties and like shifted by large margins. And then 
the only county that, like, the largest margin um, for a county to shift to the right, Stevens County, 9.4%. There were, like, 5,000 voters in total in this county. Less than 5,000 voters voted in this county. Um, so it was not a um, very large county. But one one major thing I want to look at, and these, or I guess I've already looked at, these are essentially, if I had to sum it up and give it to you in one sentence, I would say his strong performance in the Iron Range and strong suburban performances, or strong performances in this general Minneapolis region. He did very well um, in the suburbs, as I said before. And then, like I said, we go look at his numbers. He improved on Clemson's numbers, shifting it, where is it, Hennepin County, 8.3% more to the left. So, Biden, um, ultimately, I know this is a short video, and I apologize for that, but that is um, essentially how he carried the state of Minnesota. Now, we do know that he did better in rural areas. Um, he only lost by 21%. And now, I'm on the New York Times website, by the way. What the New York Times will do is, um, they don't have their margins, but they have a lot of these counties in, I guess, what would be a likely characterization, which is, I think, anything where the candidate gets in within 60%, which obviously is a lot, but with these very, um, a lot of these very partisan counties, seeing most of these rural counties in that general thing, um, is also something that kind of helped Biden, obviously did better in rural areas, um, than Clinton did, so that was just one other little side note, um, not necessarily very important, although we're going to talk rural areas, I guess the Iron Range is kind of rural, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video tomorrow. Um, I'm running out of ideas. Um, I'm not quite sure what to film. Um, sometimes I do have an idea for a video I might do. Um, it might be fairly short, like this video though, and I like to have longer videos. So, um, please leave your suggestions in the comments below if you have anything that you want me to do. Um, and yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.